Hi, my name is Carly Makeo Phoenix, and welcome to your New Moon in Taurus yoga class for 2020. Uh, we're just getting ourselves nice and warmed up here, so we'll spend about 10 minutes just warming ourselves up to get ready for the actual yoga class. Uh, if, the, if you're um, very new to this, uh, this type of yoga, then a very big welcome to you. And if you have any concerns about your mental, emotional or physical health with respect to doing a yoga class, then please do consult your health professional before you continue with the class today. Okay, so we're just shaking down to the floor. I will, um, of course, give you modifications <laughs> as we work our way through uh, the class. Um, and you can, of course, uh, follow that lead if you have any concerns about, about your health in that respect as well. <laughs> Sorry, my little puppy dog is trying to get himself organised here. And then just reaching up. If you do have blood pressure, heart condition, shoulder issues, just keep the hands nice and low when we reach up, around about eye level. Otherwise, you're quite welcome to come up higher. <laughs> And then around to the side. Have a nice stretch. I know my body definitely needs uh, this class. Uh, being in isolation, it's really good to have a lovely, a lovely stretch. Um, and to, um, yeah, and just to reconnect with yourself. Yeah, and then bring the feet a little bit further apart and around in a circle. And of course, keep the head above the, the, uh, the waist, if you have any concerns about heart condition, if you have any ear, eye, nose, throat issues at the moment, uh, glaucoma, detached retina, um, even if you're getting a bit of vertigo or dizziness as well, sinus issues, that sort of thing. Uh, and of course, blood pressure, heart condition. So shaking it out, shaking out, particularly shaking out of any guilt that you might be feeling at the moment. Um, it is the normal human condition to, to really struggle with being so restrained. Um, particularly around what's happening at the moment. So let's go the other way. So if you're feeling, you know, you've been, you know, stepping outside the rules a little bit, uh, maybe not keeping the social distancing even in your own house, or maybe giving the odd hug, or maybe visiting the odd, the odd neighbour and thinking, oh dear, I'm being a bit naughty here. <laughs> so just, just um, shake that out. Okay, we don't want to be carrying that guilt. And the guilt is only going to make us sick. So, so let, let that be what it is. And um, we'll move on with, with actually doing the class. So shake it out. Just uh, forgive yourself for that one. <laughs> Would be my suggestion. So coming up with this new moon in Taurus. Now Taurus, it is new beginnings of course because it is a new moon. So just gently moving around here. Always within your limits. <laughs> And um, my son's over there mimicking the movements as well. <laughs> In the background, you can't see him. All right, and then reaching up. So Taurus is all about the earth, okay, the senses, okay, touch, smell, feel, you know, all of that, and really becoming quite sensual. So, so really um, tuning into your senses. And the energy at the moment with all of the planets and what the planets are doing, um, uh, is lining up with the, the COVID-19 uh, pandemic um, and it's really telling us to pause, to slow down and to really smell the roses. Okay, and this new moon in Taurus allows us to smell the roses basically. It's, it's telling us to be present, to be very much in the present moment. So reaching down a bit further here, um, to be in the present moment to, to stop trying to push to get back to normal, in inverted commas, whatever normal is, and, and to actually take a look at what normal used to be and, and do we actually want to go back to that type of normal? Is there stuff that you actually wouldn't mind permanently changing? Okay, and just tapping opposite knee here with opposite hand. So um, a few things to think about there, but, but really this session, um, this, uh, this yoga today, um, and this new moon uh, is all about bringing you back, um, bringing you back into yourself, into your body, and making you very much present in the, in the present moment. So right now, right here, not trying to project into the future, oh, when am I going to be able to go back to work and run around like a headless chook and do what I normally do? Let's just leave that. Let's pause. We need to actually go on a very conscious pause. Pause what you used to do. Okay, touching your, your heels back there. 
So the word is, <laughs> the word of the fortnight is pause. Okay. Um, so, so be okay with pause as well. A lot of you um, with um, some particular numerology, if you've got strong two energy, will really struggle with the concept of pause. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but it's something that, that, that the, the planet is screaming to do. The planet wants us to pause. And Taurus is all about the planet. It's all about the earth. It's the most, um, uh, the, the strongest earth um, <clears throat> sign in the zodiac. So let's just do some, some hip circles here. Just really <laughs> enjoying it. Just watching my son over there having a, having a good time. <clears throat> and definitely invite your, your partners, your, your children, your, your extended family to, um, to uh, log in and, and um, enjoy these classes. They are free uh, throughout the, um, the pandemic. Let's go the other way. I will be setting them up as, as paid classes later, but um, they'll, be, they'll be quite cheap. And you'll be able to watch them whenever you want. That's the beauty of, of this, from wherever you are. So there's a lot of people that I left behind in Canberra that um, have started watching these, these videos. Again, um, now that I'm doing them, let's do some figure eights. And they're, they're extremely grateful. <laughs> so um, yeah, it may become um, the normal for me. This might be one, one of the things that, that will become my normal, um, doing the, the fortnightly yoga class online, just charging a small fee and just making that what, what I'm doing. Uh, and uh, let's go the other way. And uh, so, so that I can reach out to more people. Um, and also um, check in with me. You know, if you're, if you're watching these classes and you're like, oh, you know what, I'm not really coping very well. A few of you have checked in with me and have um, shared with me what's going on for you. And, I, and I'm more than willing um, as your yoga teacher, you know, um, as a sort of a mentor to actually have a chat with you about what's going on for you, what, what you're dealing with, um, give you a little bit of advice, um, a bit of reassurance maybe, um, <clears throat> some suggestions. You can come, you can be creative with this one. You can, you can go from a corner up, you can go diagonal if you like. Um, of course, make it even. So go on the other side. This is the first time Snowy's joined us in, um, in Deniloquin. Usually he's sitting over there on the couch fast asleep, but he's quite happy to um, join in this time. So there you go. We've got our little puppy dog to join us here. He used to join us all the time over in Canberra but it's taken him a while to work it out. <laughs> so he's all good. <clears throat> so just really allowing that, that flow of energy. So we're doing the beautiful EBR2, Energy Block Release 2, um, which is the be here now. It's all about being here in the very present moment. So it's just scooping under. And that's what this is all about. Getting in touch with your senses getting in touch with the earth, listening to the birds, watching the trees, feeling the breeze. Um, I've got uh, a nice little tribe of, um, not sure what the word is for a collection of um, kangaroos, but I'm sure someone will be able to let me know. <laughs> um, <clears throat> pack, maybe, <laughs> of kangaroos. Um, there's around about 50 that, that, that live within about, <clears throat> within about 200 metres of our back doorstep. Um, they often come up and say hello. Got so much um, wildlife. We've got. Um, I had a massive um, uh, lizard thing. Sorry, I'm not very good with um, names of things, but it was huge. It was this big, climbing up the tree the other day. The dog went mental, and uh, birds. So many birds. So much wildlife, and uh, and just stopping and listening. Listen to the birds. If the birds start squawking at you, what are they saying? I have kookaburras just up the road. I have eagles, wedge-tailed eagles, circling above the house pretty much constantly. And um, mice, wasn't so happy about the mice. <laughs> For a while there they, uh, they decided that the house was a good place to live and uh, I managed to persuade them otherwise. <laughs> um, so um, yeah, but listen, listen to what the animals around you are saying. <laughs> My son's going like this, he's listening. You're listening to the animals, yeah. Getting back in touch with nature. Really, um, yeah, letting yourself just be still, be present. And this EBR is one of the best ones to actually bring you back, bring you back to right now, 
not, not anxious about the future, not depressed about the past, not fretting about money or <clears throat> you know, your relationships or how you're going to get past this, how you're going to get through this, not fretting about your loneliness and just being present, talking to the birds. The birds are going to keep you company. <laughs> so palms faced away from each other, leaning in, stretching out the, the shoulders and then breathing in, opening up. So there's around about 100 people that, that watch this every week at the moment. Um, but, um, you know, let everybody know. Um, this is, um, at the, as I said at the moment, it's free um, and it's available throughout the, the pandemic until things return to a, a space where you could physically go to a, a yoga class. <clears throat> breathing in and breathing out. So just preparing the body, getting yourself nice and warmed up there, ready to go and out and of course please do give me feedback you know is the uh, um, is the visual okay can you see me okay um, is the sound okay that sort of thing just let me know how you're going at that end and just put your right foot out the front hands up and then back to the middle and right foot to the back so we're just going forwards and backwards with our right foot I've got a little bit of limited movement here because of my setup but um, you can do a slightly bigger stride if you like with, the, with that movement. <laughs> okay, and then it's switched to the, the left foot. So switching to the other side and I'm mirroring you here. So this is your left foot. Lovely. Almost done with the warm up and then we'll go straight into our energy block release. It will take the entire period of time for the um, the yoga section before we go into the deep relaxation. So coming back, if you do have osteoporosis, hip issues, ankle issues, um, and knee issues, keep your foot on the floor at all times if that's the best thing for you. You can grab a, um, a chair or a, a wall or something if you'd like to come up and just do a nice shake. So shaking it out there. Lovely. And then circles with the ankle. And then circles in the other direction. And out the side. And the back. So a little bit of a shake, a bit of a swing there, forwards and backwards. And then up and around. Hello. Yes, you're joining us today. A little bit of a shake. And then the other side. Around in a circle, and the other way, the side, and the back, and a bit of a swing. Again, I'm a little bit limited here with my swing, and up and around, back. Lovely. Let's check that everything's still connected back there. Okay. Um, and then just get yourself a little drink of water. We're about to go into the um, into the uh, the energy block release. I'm just checking that everything's still connected back here. I just can't quite find what I'm looking for. There we go. All right. That's better. It's always a bit of a trick, making sure everything's in the right spot there. So have yourself a little drink of water. Have some water nearby at all times. Okay, so we're going to go straight into um, EBR2. We'll get ourselves into Tadasana first and, and any modifications we'll just do as we, as we work our way along through the, through the energy block relief, any, any um, uh, health considerations that we might like to, to consider there. Um, so first we'll get ourselves into Tadasana. So lifting up your, your um, right heel and pivot around until the right heel touches your, your big toe in your left foot. And then lifting up, pivot back. So getting that lovely distance there between your, your feet, that hip width apart. Breathing in, tightening up the knees and breathing out, nice loose knees. So having that nice looseness um, throughout, the, um, throughout the class, if you can. Um, okay, and then bring your awareness up to your, your um, pelvic area. So pushing your pelvis forwards and pushing the pelvis back 
and then finding that middle ground. So feeling like your, your pelvis is holding onto um, a bowl of water, nice and steady there. And then breathing in, roll the shoulders forwards and back. Breathing in again and back and again and back and then this time just breathing in squeeze the shoulder blades together lift them up a little bit of a lift with the chin big breath in and shake it out and again breathe in squeeze lift and shake it out lovely you'll feel like your chest is opening up here your shoulder blades are coming in together at the back nice and steady so you're feeling nice and open Arms just relaxed by your side, chin parallel to the floor. And imagine there's a string attached to your sternum, lifting you up to the sky. And another st string attached to your crown, lifting you up. You might feel like your, your spine is lengthening as you do this. So you might feel that lift up in your spine. Lovely. Okay, you're now into Dasana. All right, so we'll go straight into our beautiful um, EBR2, Energy Block Release 2. Um, and we'll just bend our knees and you're going to place your right hand on top of your left hand just in front of your pelvic area there and you're just going to bring your hands up we'll just come up to the head height this is just a modification and then out okay so you will only come up that high if you do have the blood pressure heart condition shoulder issues now put the left over the front and same thing come up just up to here so that's the height you'll go to if you have those concerns those considerations if you don't have that concern, you can come up higher with me now, breathing in and breathing out. Always keep a little bit of a bend in your arms there. Left over right and out. And then right on the top, so constantly alternating here. Big breath in as you go up and breathing out, palms faced out as you head your way back down. And breathing in and out. Right over the front and out. And the left. and out and then just pause for a moment and just place your last three fingers roll them over and put your thumb on top of your last three fingers and then the pointer fingers are pointing out this is your Brahma Mudra let's go and do exactly the same thing so palms faced inwards right hand on top fingers pointing to the floor and then up we come fingers pointing up and then the left on top breathe in and out and in and out in. really important thing at the moment is to be creative so this is actually allowing you to to tap into that creativity releasing that that base fear energy and transforming it into creativity. So really allowing, as you breathe in, feel like you're lifting that, that fear energy right down at your base, down here, and you're lifting it up into your higher chakras. And a nice breath out. In. We'll just do one more on both sides. So right hand on top, and out, and one more time on the left, and out, and allow the knees just to remain a little bit bent, bring the hands into the praying hands mudra, and just bring them up to your forehead, breathe in, and when you breathe out, just straighten up the knees, and bring the hands to the chest. So let's breathe in. Again, this is a modification if you do have um, blood pressure, heart condition issues, 
or shoulder issues just to keep your hands below the head there breathing in bend the knees and breathing out lovely in and out. If you don't have any concerns in that area, you're quite welcome to bring your hands higher up with me. So breathing in and just come to your crown, breathing out. <laughs> breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. <laughs> in. you might get quite warm doing this it's a really good one to warm you up it also breeds compassion so compassion for yourself being okay with the little things that you're doing at the moment that might be a little bit outside of what what's expected of you just give yourself a little bit of slack today cut yourself a little bit of slack and be okay with your humanness okay let go of that anxiety that stress i'm not saying run out and do make silly decisions put yourself in danger or others i'm just saying just internally just let go of what you've done okay and just accept that that's what it is breathe in and breathe out bring the hands down and then palms faced up up to your chest and breathing out, bend the knees a little bit. Breathing in and out. In and out. So always keeping the arms a little bit bent. Um, Breathing into your heart. Feel like your heart's filling up with love and hugs. I'm getting hugs from my boy over there. He's sending me hugs, aren't you? <laughs> Having a little giggle. Out. Breathing in. Taking my time here. So we're, we're doing a fair few reps of each one just to really get into that moment. Get in, come into our senses. Be here now. Be in the present moment hear the birds can you hear the birds outside can you see them flying around can you see the trees have you gone out into nature and out okay lovely and then bring your feet just a little bit further apart toes pointing out just a little bit there and the hands coming up in front you would have seen this in in some of the other EBRs if you're if you're a veteran at this, you've, you've been doing this for a while. Um, so with this one, we're going to turn our right foot out to the right, okay? And we're going to place our left hand on our right arm up here, okay? And then we lift up our back foot. So we lift up the left heel off the floor. Get yourself nice and steady here. And then lift your sternum up. So you lift your, your chest up to the sky, like you're stretching your spine up to the sky. And then you're gently going around to the back. So I'll show you what that looks like from the other side. Okay, so you touch, you lift, and then you come around. Okay, lovely squeeze. All right, so we'll go around to the right first. So turn the right foot out to the right. Breathing in, lift up your left heel. Place your left hand on your right arm. Big lift up, I am mirroring you here, so this is your right. And then around you go. Breathing out and then just breathing naturally as you maintain that position. Let me know what you think of the throw today too, the background. Um, I thought it was going to be a bit too glary, but I think it might be quite nice. Coming back in to the middle, around the other side. So touch the shoulder, breathing in, lift up, lift up the sternum and then breathing out, round you go. Just enjoying that stretch. Breathing in back to the middle. We'll do it once more on both sides. Turn the right foot out to the right. Touch the shoulder. Breathe in, lift up the heel. 
lift up your sternum and breathe out round you go. This is fantastic for improving digestion, speeding up your metabolism, stretching out your spine. And breathing in back to the middle and then breathing out. Let's go the other side, breathe in and out. And coming back into the middle. Lovely. And bring your feet back into approximately hip width apart. And then just breathing in, opening up the hands, opening up the chest. And breathing out. Very slight back bend there. So be nice and gentle. Breathing in. Each time you breathe in, just let your hands come just a little bit higher each time. Breathing in, reaching up and out. And in, and out. You just have to, it's all right. My son's just going to walk past the camera. That's okay. Off you go. You can sneaky sneak like Batman. Get down on your hands and knees and sneak like Batman so they can't see you. You can crawl down past the, past the light. <laughs> and out. Go on. You have to do so. Or you can crawl underneath the table. In. <laughs> <laughs> and out, <laughs> and in, that's it, and out, and then the right hand palm faced up, left hand palm faced down, looking into your right palm, breathing in, and then as you breathe out, just bend your right wrist and your right elbow, imagine you're passing a ball straight through your chest into your left hand, off you go, just go super fast, there you go, sneaky past. <laughs> And then breathing in, going back again, and out. <laughs> He's having a little giggle back there. Breathing in. So imagine you're passing a cleansing ball through your chest, clearing away any grief, any loss, any sadness that you might be feeling um, as a result of um, the isolation that you're experiencing right now. So breathing in, breathing out, let it cleanse, let it clear. Imagine what that ball might look like. Going down a little bit lower through your tummy, your stomach area, through your solar plexus. So do you feel disempowered? Do you feel trapped? Let's just clean that up. Let's clear that away. Let's let go of that. There's not um, any use in feeling, feeling those. It's okay to have those feelings. It's okay to to experience them and to let them go, to, to let them come up and, and go. But there's no use holding on to them. Move through it. Cleanse it up. Clear it up. Let's, let's be present. Let's pause. Give yourself permission to pause and not feel trapped and not feel stressed. Come down to your sacral chakra, your relationships. Decide that you're having a good relationship with your money with your house, with your isolation, maybe with your garden. You can go out and do the gardening. That's a fantastic way to work with this new moon in Taurus. It is about the earth. So get in there, get your hands dirty. Smell the fresh air. Plant some plants, repot. I've got some potting mix. I'm going to do some repotting and uh, weed, weed some horrible little bindies out there. And come down all the way to your base chakra, breathing in. Cleanse away any fears, that fear that you might have been having around, around money, around stability, even or just around feeling connected. Just go and chat to the birds. They'll be listening. Breathing in. Or call someone. Call someone, even go onto Facebook. Turn on the radio. There's people out there reaching out. Breathing in and breathing out. Lovely. All right, we're going to start sort of heading towards the floor now. All right, we're going to be doing our, um, our standing cat. Okay, this is a really fabulous movement to be doing, even just on its own. It's a really fantastic movement. You place your hands just above your knees. 
Okay, you stick your bottom out the back so you can see that I've got quite the, quite the sticky bottom and, and you keep the knee behind the toes so you don't want this business. Okay, so keep your knees behind the toes and, and we're going to be doing the cat movement. So you've possibly seen this before. Um, so at first it's nice and straight and then we breathe out, we start to push the tailbone towards the floor and we very slowly create an upwards arch stretching the spine out past your crown and eventually you're looking around about between your your two feet you're not doing a massive hyperextension like this you're just stretching out stretching out past the crown and looking down between your legs and then breathing in start with your tailbone push the tailbone up slowly and then doing a downwards arch and eventually you're looking just a meter and a half ahead on the floor Okay, and then breathing out, roll back down. Breathing in, start with the tailbone pushing up. This is fantastic for releasing trauma, any kind of trauma. It doesn't have to be trauma from severe, you know, something severe happening like war, wartime. They have done this with wartime veterans and it's been extremely effective in releasing trauma. It can also be the trauma of, of losing your job or, or losing your freedom. That can be a trauma that will actually remind you of traumas from, from childhood that, that may not have been um, addressed yet. Breathing out, as you breathe out you push the tailbone down to the floor and eventually the head just rocks down and then breathing in, start with the tailbone, gently pushing up. Lovely. And you can bring yourself back up to standing just to have a quick look at the next, the next movement. So you're in the same position, okay? Um, your hands are in the same position. What happens is we, we breathe in. When we breathe out, we push the fingers, excuse the uh, shirt there, push the fingers towards your pelvis. So your right fingers start to be pointing towards your pelvis. You're going to stretch up the side of your right side of your torso, okay? And you're encouraging the right elbow towards the floor, okay? Stretch the side of the torso and eventually you're looking up at the sky. So, so looking up that way. Now you may only get a stretch to this far and that's perfectly fine, okay? Keep the head above the waist if you do have any concerns about blood pressure, heart condition, vertigo and then breathing in coming back up to the top and breathing out let's go to the other side most people can do this one because you can keep your your head fairly high up here you don't have to go below your waist to do the movement making sure you're stretching up the side of your torso here okay breathing in back to the middle Breathing out, stretch the side of your torso first, like really stretch the side of your, your back down towards the floor, encourage the elbow and then eventually you're looking up. Breathing in, this is where we start to release the anxiety and the depression like big time. It's very subtle, um, the movements are very very soft and gentle, you feel like you're doing not much but it really is releasing a lot of blocked up energy. Always drink lots of water when you're, when you're doing these movements. And back up to the middle. We'll do it once more on both sides. As I said, we're doing a fair few repeats here. So breathing out, looking up. Breathe back in. And one more time on your left. Point the fingers, stretch the side of your torso, and back up. And gently push yourself back up so you can watch the next bit. If you are fam quite familiar with this, you're quite welcome to come down and do it straight away. Again, if you have the blood pressure, heart condition, um, any, any reason why you can't bring your head below your waist, glaucoma, detached retina, even if um, first three days of your menstrual cycle, if you're heavily pregnant, obviously you're not going to lean down like that. Um, vertigo, as I said, sinus issues, 
stick with what we just did, okay? So stick with this one. All right, if you're okay to come down, the idea is that we come, just gonna stretch this stuff up a bit. Um, you're going to come down, you're gonna have nice soft knees and you're going to grab the opposite um, elbow with opposite hands. And you're just gonna let the head just nicely relax towards the floor. So you'll feel quite a stretch in the back of your front, the back of your legs, the upper back, which is your hamstrings. Okay, breathing in. And when you breathe out, again, you stretch the side of your torso, okay, and you encourage the right elbow to point right between your two feet. Okay, again, this is a very subtle movement. And breathing in, come back into the middle. And breathing out, stretch the left side of your torso. Encourage the, the left elbow to point right between your feet. Just allow the head just to relax. Back into the middle, breathing in. Breathing out, stretch the right side of your torso. Point right between your, your feet there. Breathe into the middle. And the left. Breathing in. And out. We're just going to do one more on both sides. I usually only do two, but we're just having a really lovely go at it today. Back into the middle. And one more time with your left. And then very gently walk yourself back up, nice and slowly, curl the spine up. Ooh, can be a bit of a blood rush there. Now with this next movement, um, there's a few options. Um, if you're completely okay with totally upside down, just readjusting my headphones here. Um, then that's totally cool, that's fine, you can continue to do that. Um, if touching the, putting your hands completely on the ground isn't going to work for you, I'll just grab a, a chair to demo. You can use a chair for this particular movement and just place your hands on the chair, okay? Your feet are fairly, fairly wide apart here. And when you do the movement, you're going to be perpendicular to your torso, okay? So your hands are going to be reaching out like this, okay? You're not gonna reach up to the sky, all right? Um, so just being aware of that. You can use a block. I thought I had a block sitting here, I'm not sure what I've done with it. But you can imagine if I did have a block, um, you could use this, I suppose, um, as a block. And same thing, so you just come up to whatever, whatever height and make sure that you're perpendicular at right angles to your, to your torso. All right, or you can come all the way to the floor. Sorry, Snowy, waking you up, am I? <laughs> so your feet are parallel, okay? They're pointing towards the front of the room or towards your monitor. Um, whatever distance, so of course, the closer they are together, the further the distance is to the floor. Okay, so it's up to you how, how far you go. And same thing, if, if you are, um, pregnant, if you're heavily pregnant, if it's the first three days of your menstrual cycle, again, all the things about going upside down, detached retina glaucoma, EI, nose, throat issues of any sort, sinuses, um, definitely go for the chair, okay? Um, otherwise, you're welcome to come down. Um, you can have hands flat on the floor, you can tippy fingers, or you can fist, whatever, whatever works for you here, okay? Just really enjoy that lovely stretch. And then what we do, is we get our right hand, again, we're, we're twisting the torso, so we turn the torso around and we pause in the position where our elbow is pointing up towards the sky, it's bent. And then we reach up to the sky, we're looking up at the sky, and then we bend the elbow, <coughs> excuse me, bend the elbow and come back to the floor. Now you may only get out to here and that's totally okay. You don't need to 
be able to do the full stretch up to the sky. Whatever your full stretch is, is going to be perfectly fine. <clears throat> and you're going to get the full benefits out of it. So we, um, we breathe in, we twist around, bend the elbow, pointing up to the sky. Breathe out, reach the hand up to the sky. Breathing in, bend the elbow, and breathing out, back to the floor. Right hand, breathing in, bend the elbow, pause, breathe out, reach up to the sky. Breathe in, bend the elbow, pause, and breathing out, back to the floor. Left hand, breathing in, bend the elbow, pause, breathe out, reaching up. Breathing in, bend the elbow, and breathing out, back to the floor. We'll do it one more time on both sides, or maybe even twice actually, because this is a very, very good one to do. <clears throat> breathing in, and out. And in, and out. Left hand, in, out. In and out. In out. In and out. And then left hand last time. In and out. In out. What we're going to do next is go into the dynamic um, side lunge thing. Oh, there's a word for it. Sorry, I forgot what the word is. <laughs> so if you can squat, um, you're quite welcome to come into this particular position. Um, if squatting down here is, is definitely not going to work for you, there's a few options. You can come onto your knee and put your leg out the side, grab the floor. Or, of course, you can come ooh, onto a chair and do the same thing. So have half your bottom on the chair, half off, and then just put the leg out to the side. Okay, that's the other option. Um, this is quite a long EBR, but it's very well worth it because it's um, quite scrumptious. In the end, you, you feel amazing. Um, dynamic, no, dynamic squat, maybe. I think that might be what it's called. Okay, out to the side. So you're lifting your chest up. Okay, you try to get your foot, your right foot flat on the floor, toes pointing forwards if, the, if your ankle will allow that. And then lifting up. And then lift your toes up towards your head. And then breathing out, allow your toes to be pushed away from your body. Breathing in back towards the head. And breathe out back to the floor. And then you could either come down onto your knees and literally move across to the other side slowly, or if you're keen to do the dynamic, the dynamic squat, you keep yourself quite low to the floor. So you breathe in, lift your hands off, switch across, and then come down. And then looking up, your chest is pointing up towards the front of the, of the monitor, and then breathing in, toes towards your head, Breathing out, toes away, in and out. Okay, now the good news is we get to get onto the floor now. Hmm, because the little, little fuzzy ball is right on my mat, that's going to be a bit tricky. So we're just going to move you, darling. I'm just going to move you just slightly that way, darling. Okay, all right, that's better. Okay, it's all right. Mummy just needs the space. All right, so you're, you're sitting on your mat with your hands out the back, palms on the, on the ground, if that's okay for you. You can do this on a chair, no problem. You can just literally sit on the chair, put your hands just behind your bottom there. Like you're sitting on the beach, okay? So leaning back a little bit and uh, you're going to be flicking out to in front of your feet there. 
So imagine you're flicking out to the trees outside, okay? Breathing in, when you breathe out, engage your core. So pull those tummy muscles in, engage the core. Now you can just drag your foot along the, along the um, mat if that is easier for you, okay? If you do have lower back issues um, or have very weak abdominal muscles, do the drag along the floor like that, okay? All right, but if you're happy to bring your foot up, engage those core muscles, breathe in, pull the right foot in towards your tummy, and then breathe out, flick. Breathe in again, and flick in, and flick. One more time. Let's switch to the left side. Breathe in, and out. In, and out. In, and out. And one more time. In, and out. Lovely. All right, now I'm just seeing whether I'm going to be able to do this with Snowy. Yes, we can do it. So I have to move the mat just very, very slightly across. So I'm going to have to get up. Just stay sitting on your, um, on your mat. I'm just going to maneuver just a tiny bit so I can do the movement. There we go. All right, so you just move your, your heels up to the very front of your mat so your heels are touching the front of your mat there and then you grab the mat and you roll if you can reach it roll it all the way until you get to the your, your bottom okay and then put half of your bottom on the mat and half of your bottom off so what's happening is you're tilting your pelvis okay so now this area is tilted a little bit forwards uh, which makes it <coughs> a lot easier to do this movement. Now, if you have particularly tight hamstrings, you may want to put a little pillow or something underneath the knees. Um, if you have sciatica, same deal. And just take it very, very gently here. Don't, don't go too far. If you also have disc issues, lower back issues, you, you're going to want to take this very, very slowly. Um, hip, knee issues, same thing. Hamstrings. Uh, if you're pregnant, so so do the modification. Just do, go very very gentle. Don't go too far down, and have the the pillow underneath your knees. Okay. So breathing in, lift the hands up above your head, going into praying hands again. You can keep them lower if you need to, and then breathing out, palms faced up on your on your um, your lap there. <coughs> breathing in again, hands up above your head and out we'll do that one more time breathing in like a circle of light up above your head into praying hands then breathe out palms faced up okay and then what we do is we lift our hands up to our chest and then we lean very slightly forwards let the hands go out to the front and let the hands just hover on either side of your legs. Slowly curl the spine back up. Bring the hands back up until they come back up to your chest. So that's a full cycle. So you breathe out, lean forwards. Let the hands hover, not touching the side of your legs. Slowly breathing in, reaching back up. Finishing the breath at your chest. Breathing out. And each time, if you, if you are okay to do a bit more of a stretch, Lean down just a little bit further. Let the hands hover up the side of the, um, the side of your legs. Just getting that out so I have more stretchability. Just checking everything. So breathing out. If you are able to stretch down further, you're quite welcome to come down further. Let the hands hover gently, slowly breathing in, coming back up into the upright position. Breathing out. Breathing in, back up to your chest. Just letting the hands hover along the sides of the legs. Breathing out. Breathing in, curling up. Breathing out. In. And out. Mm. 
in each time. See if you can go just that tiny bit further. Not putting too much pressure on your hamstrings or your back. Just feel that tiny stretch. And each time, if you do do this regularly, you will find that you can get your head all the way down to your knees, regardless of how not stretchy you are right now. <laughs> and this time, let's just um, let's do the affirmation, actually. As I let go, so you breathe out. I find freedom in my life. Breathing back into your chest. As I let go. I find freedom in my life. As I let go. I find freedom in my life. And then this one. Just allowing your hands just to grab whatever part of your legs you can get to, your knees, your shins, your ankles. If you can get all the way to your feet, fabulous. Whatever works for you. Um, and just your maximum stretch when you feel just a little bit of stretch is perfect. Um, that's the beauty of Drew Yoga. You don't have to do the full stretch like the, like the instructor is doing um, to get the full benefits. So you just go to the point where you're feeling a decent, you know, a bit of a stretch happening in your hamstrings, maybe in your lower back, um, and just relax into it. And with every out breath, you'll find that you'll be able to just relax into it just a little bit more. And then just very gently walk your hands back up. And now we're going to get to lay down on the floor. I might do this in the other direction. Just laying on your back. Um, pushing your mat back out to the full, full extension. I'll just get my microphone out of the back there. Okay. So laying on your back, um, if laying on your back isn't going to work for you, you can just go back into the cat position. Um, hello, you're having a bit of a stretch, are you? Uh, so the idea here is to have your spine completely flat on the floor. Okay, so straight, flatten out your, your um, back on the floor so you can feel every part of your back touching the floor. Have your palms face down on the floor. And pretty much everyone can do stage one here if they can actually get themselves down onto the floor. So, so if you can't, then maybe just go into the, into the cat position that we were doing before. Um, and have your feet about hip width apart. So they're lined up with your hips um, and the toes are pointing away. They're like train tracks. So they're parallel heading away from your body there. Palms flat on the floor to support you there particularly your big, th your, big, your thumbs and your big toes are going to support you as well. Tuck your chin in just a little bit so you have a lovely long neck. If any piggy tails or anything are bothering you there, just um, get those out so you can have a nice flat, flat contact with the, um, with the floor there. And then what we do is we, we breathe in and we very gently lift the tailbone up off the floor, just the tailbone, and then breathe out, roll the tailbone back down. Breathe in again. Add a little bit more, so add your lower back, and then breathing out, roll back down. And then again, breathing in, you can add a little bit more. I'm just going to keep moving up here. About halfway up your spine, and then breathe out, roll back. Breathing in, get to sort of the thoracic spine there. And breathing out, rolling back down. Breathing in again to the sort of the middle of your your upper back there the your shoulder area and breathing out rolling back down and then the finish of stage one we're going to get all the way up onto our shoulders and we're just going to really enjoy that stretch you should feel a little bit of a stretch in your in your quads there at the front 
just going to get this guy. So this is as far as you will go if you have rheumatoid arthritis, cervical disc issues, whiplash, hypothyroidism. So just stick with this one and then breathing out, roll back down. If you don't have any of those concerns and you're happy to come up further, you can come back up into stage one and you can either um, clasp your hands in underneath your bottom and then just push your shoulder shoulders in towards each other and do look a little bit more of a stretch, which is lovely. Um, if you are able to, get your hands in underneath your, your um, hips there, your waist, and then pushing yourself up into stage two, which is absolutely excellent for calming your farm big time. This is one of the best ones for calming down, releasing that anxiety. Excellent before bed. And then just rolling back down. And then we're just going to gently roll over onto our right. Just checking I'm not going to run into things here. And then onto your tummy. Okay. So... <laughs> so the tops of your feet are flat on the floor and you will have your, your head, um, your forehead um, down on the floor, um, sorry, your forehead facing um, the floor on your mat and your elbows will be out to the side, bent elbows and your, your um, thumbs will be lined up with your eyes. So breathing in. When you breathe out, engage your core and push your pelvis down to the floor. And then breathing in again, create a little hollow in the base of your spine. Let that hollow walk its way up your spine. When it gets about halfway, imagine you're pushing a marble away with your nose. Lift your head up. Push yourself up using your hands and your arms. Bring your elbows in so they're directly below your shoulders, okay? And you're in the sphinx position, so your head's looking straight ahead. Breathe in, and then breathing out, look to your right. Breathing in, back to the middle. Breathing out to the left. Into the middle. Out to the right. Into the middle. And out to the left. Into the middle. And then breathing out, tuck the chin in, and coming back down to the floor. This time you're going to place your your hands, palms face down towards the floor on top of each other. You're going to place your, um, your forehead on the back of your hands and you're going to have your feet a couple of shoulder widths apart, toes pointing away from each other, okay? And you're going to rest in this position. I'll get up so you can hear me properly. But allowing yourself to really rest and settle in this position. This is Makarasana, it's a master pose, it's called the crocodile pose. And uh, it allows you to really ground yourself and this allows you to come into the present moment. It also allows you to get in touch with the earth, which is what we're trying to do right now. We're really coming into that Taurus energy, that new moon in Taurus. We're, we're basically at this point moving into the Taurus sun as well, um, of course, um, which is also about the earth, it's about the animals, it's about coming into contact, back into contact with your source. Your source is, is that innocence and that primal, um, not worrying about anything, just being very primal, just being in touch with the earth, going back to basics. Not worrying about those bigger picture things, just really letting go. So take a deep breath in. Feel your tummy expanding across the floor. Breathing out, relax. Feel like you're sinking into the earth. Breathing in again, feel the tummy expanding. And breathing out, relax. Feel that sinking, that surrender. Breathe in again, feel the tummy expanding. 
And breathing out, feel the body relaxing. I'm going to do a few more breaths just at your own pace there. And you're going to prepare yourself for the deep relaxation, which will be the next thing that we go into. Just a few more gentle breaths. And then very gently pushing your, your feet back in towards each other. And gently pushing yourself up into uh, the um, child pose. So you're just going to rest your bottom on your heels. You can rest your head on, on a fist if you need to. And again, just really enjoy this, this feeling of being very safe, very secure, very cradled and peaceful. As you breathe in, feel your spine arching up towards the sky. And breathing out, allow spine to rest and settle. Breathing in again, feel that arching up, that lifting up to the sky. And then breathing out, allowing it to rest. And then very gently pushing yourself up into a kneeling position and uh, getting yourself ready for your deep relaxation. So you're going to be, what I will do is um, blank out this bit um, in the way of the video. So, um, so it's less for you to upload, download and less for me to upload in the way of megabytes. So just saves us a little bit there. Um, so the next 20 minutes, you're going to be laying on your back um, if you're comfortable with that, you can sit in a chair if you need to do that instead. Um, if you are going to be laying on your, on your back, and if you do have lower back issues, definitely put something underneath your knees so you can support your back there a little bit. And as I said, you will be there for 20 minutes, so your body will definitely cool down. And uh, you will need to... Um, have something over you most likely. If it's really hot where you are, maybe just a thin sheet over you um, or a thin blanket. Um, if you're in the cooler climate where I am at the moment, then um, uh, go, for, uh, go for a thicker blanket over you. The more snuggle you feel, the better because you'll, you'll be able to go into a really lovely deep relaxation there. Um, so laying on your back, giving yourself permission to deeply relax. Um, it is a deep relaxation, which means you obviously, the more you do this, the deeper you go, um, the more, more regularly that you actually do these classes, um, the deeper you'll go into the relaxation. But it's also allowing the energy from our beautiful EBR2 to become a part of your being for the next, um, for today and for your next week. Um, I definitely recommend that you do the class a couple of times over the fortnight um, and, uh, and, and allow that energy to become a part of, of, um, of your day, your day-to-day -day life, uh, your being. So um, laying on your back, having your um, arms out by your side, palms faced up. Tuck your chin in just a little bit so you have a lovely long neck. Allow your spine just to have its natural curvature. Allow your feet just to go out to the sides wherever they feel comfortable. And give yourself permission to deeply relax. 
and then move your awareness down your torso, down your legs, all the way down to your feet and your toes. Breathing in, squeezing your feet and your toes. Nice big squeeze. And breathing out, release. And then breathing in again, pushing your toes away from your body. Feel that lovely stretch in your shins. And breathing out, release. Breathing in again, push your heels away from your body, your toes up towards your head. Feel that stretch in your calf muscles. And breathing out, release. Move the awareness further up your legs, up to your knees. Breathing in, gently pushing your knees down in towards the floor. Feel your quads engaged to do this. And breathing out, release. Move the awareness further up your legs, up to your buttocks. Breathing in, squeezing the buttocks. Feel like your hips are rising just a little bit up towards the sky. And breathing out, release. Move the awareness around to the lower part of your back. Breathing in, gently pushing the lower back down in towards the floor. Feel that gentle pressure between your lower back and the floor. And breathing out, release. Keep your awareness in your lower back. Breathing in, gently pushing the lower back down in towards the floor. Feel that gentle pressure. And breathing out, release. Move the awareness around to the front of your torso. Breathing in, squeeze the abdominal muscles down in towards the floor. And breathing out, release. Move the awareness further up the torso, up to the chest. And breathing in, pushing the chest up towards the sky. At the same time, push the shoulder blades in towards each other. And breathing out, release. And then reversing that motion, breathing in, lifting the shoulders off the floor, pushing the chest down in towards the floor. Feel that lovely stretch across the shoulder blades. Big breath in and breathing out, release. Move the awareness across the shoulders and down your arms, all the way down to both your hands and fingertips. Breathing in, gently curling the fingers over to make a very soft fist with both hands. And breathing out, releasing that gentle fist. Breathing in again, make a much stronger fist with both hands and lifting both arms just a few centimetres off the floor. And then breathing out, releasing those fists and splaying those fingers out as far from each other as possible. Turn the palms in towards your body, down towards the floor and even a little further around. Turn your palms back in towards your body, up towards the sky, and even a little bit beyond. 
And then breathing out, releasing your arms and your hands back down to the floor, palms faced up. Move your awareness back up your arms, up to your neck. Breathing in, squeezing the neck. And breathing out, release. Move the awareness up to the chin and the jaw, the mouth and the tongue. And without making any sounds, imagine you're saying the letters A E I O U. And open the mouth really wide and do a lovely big yawn. <sighs> Push the tongue up to the sky, across to the right, across to the left, around in a circle in one direction, and then around in the other direction, and place the tongue back in the mouth and engage the jaw. Allow the jaw to go around in one direction, and then around in the other direction. And then release the jaw, close the mouth, Make a frown and a smile at the same time. Push the eyebrows all the way down. Lift up the corners of the mouth as high as you can. Big breath in. And breathing out. Release. And then looking all over the face for all the muscles you can find. Breathing in, squeezing all the facial muscles, the forehead, the eyebrows, the eyes, the cheeks, the nose, the mouth, chin and jaw. Big breath in, big squeeze. And breathing out, release. Allowing all the facial muscles to melt into the floor. Move your awareness around to just behind the ears and all over the scalp. Imagining you can squeeze this area. Breathing in, giving it a lovely big squeeze. And breathing out, release. And then make a request that you would like all the effects of fear to be cleansed and vacuumed from your body. Move your awareness to a beautiful vacuum tube at the crown of your head. You request the speed you would like this tube to go at, slow, medium or fast. And you allow this vacuum tube to work its way into the crown of your head cleansing and vacuuming away all the effects of fear from behind your eyes, your right ear, the back of your head, your left ear, vacuuming into your sinus area, vacuuming down into your mouth, the left side of your jaw, the right side of your jaw. You can see all the darkness and blackness going up this vacuum tube and away to be recycled. Vacuuming down your neck, down your throat, into your right lung. Vacuuming down your right arm, into your right hand and fingertips. Vacuuming back up your right arm, into your right shoulder, across to your left shoulder. Vacuuming down your left arm, into your left hand and fingertips. Vacuuming back up your left arm into your left lung. And then vacuuming into your heart. And then vacuuming into your stomach. Vacuuming into your pancreas, your spleen, 
your liver, your left kidney, your right kidney, vacuuming down into your bowels, your lower pelvic organs, your left hip, your right hip, vacuuming down your right leg through your right knee, all the way down to your right foot and toes. Vacuuming back up your right leg into your right buttocks, across to your left buttocks. Vacuuming down your left leg through your left knee, all the way down to your left foot and toes. And then requesting that all the space that's now being created by cleansing and vacuuming away all the effects of fear from your body. Be filled up with beautiful, bright white, healing light. And so the switch on the tube is reversed. As you breathe in, this beautiful light enters your left toes, your left foot and ankle, your left lower leg, knee, upper leg and buttocks. And as you breathe out, this beautiful light rests and settles into all of your left leg. The tube moves across to your right foot. As you breathe in, this beautiful light enters your right toes, your right foot and ankle, your right lower leg, knee, upper leg and buttocks. And as you breathe out, this beautiful light rests and settles into all of your right leg. The tube moves down to the base of your pelvis. As you breathe in, this beautiful light enters your pelvic area, your middle torso, upper torso, chest, heart and lungs. And as you breathe out, this beautiful light rests and settles into all of your torso. The tube moves across to your right hand. As you breathe in, this beautiful light enters your right fingertips, your right fingers, palm, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, and your right shoulder. As you breathe out, this beautiful light rests and settles into all of your right arm. The tube moves across to your left hand. As you breathe in, this beautiful light enters your left fingertips, your left fingers, palm, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm and your left shoulder. And as you breathe out, this beautiful light rests and settles into all of your left arm. The tube moves down to the base of your spine. As you breathe in, this beautiful light enters the base of your spine and works its way up through every single disc and vertebrae in your lumbar spine, your thoracic spine, up into your cervical spine, your neck, your head and the crown of your head. And as you breathe out, this beautiful light rests and settles into your head, your neck and your spine. Your whole body is now glistening and gleaming and sparkling with this beautiful, bright white healing light. And you affirm to yourself, I am here now in the present moment. I am calm. I am grounded. I am stillness, I am safe, all is well. I am here now in the present moment. I am calm, I am grounded. I am stillness, I am safe, all is well.
I am here now in the present moment. I am calm. I am grounded. I am stillness. I am safe. All is well. And allow yourself to rest with those affirmations for a few moments. And then move your awareness to a space just above the crown of your head. A ball of beautiful golden light is hovering there just above the floor. You take a deep breath in and all of this beautiful golden light comes from the ball and works its way into the crown of your head. And as you breathe out this beautiful light showers down your head your neck, your spine, across your shoulders, down your arms, into your hands and fingertips. Showering down your torso, through your pelvis, showering down your legs, through your knees, all the way down to the very tips of your toes. Every single cell in your body has been re-energized, revitalized and rejuvenated with this beautiful golden light. And you start to notice what parts of your body are touching the floor. Your heels, your calves, your buttocks, your shoulders, the backs of your arms, the backs of your hands and the back of your head. And you start to wriggle your fingers and wriggle your toes. And you very gently bring your knees up to your chest and give them a lovely hug with your arms. And gently swaying from side to side, then around in a circle in one direction, and then around in the other direction. And then very gently rolling over to your right side, resting your head on your right arm. Then use this important moment to consolidate what we've done so far in this class. Our beautiful EBR2, Energy Block Release 2, allowed us to be here now in the present moment. Calm, grounded, centered, joyous, allowed us to come into our bodies in a place of stillness and release, relaxation and mindfulness. Releasing anxiety, depression, scatteredness, agitation. And of course our deep relaxation re-energized, revitalized and rejuvenated our entire body, entire mind into, in preparation for the rest of your day and for your week to come. 
and imagining yourself sitting in the upright position before you move and keeping your eyes closed gently pushing yourself up into the upright position and then gently rubbing those palms together create that lovely warmth between the palms and then place those nice warm palms over your closed eyes allow the eyes to open in that nice warm safe place then gently tapping the forehead the temples your chin and jaw back up to the top of your head the back of your head your shoulders your chest the side of your body your thighs and knees and your buttocks and shake out the side and then breathing in reaching up and breathing out a little bit of a shoulder roll lovely now he's had his little stretch too haven't you darling i hope you had a beautiful deep relaxation and um, you feel very rejuvenated and calm and and centered and and uh ready for your um ready for your week uh, we've got about five minutes left um which is not a heck of a lot of time so what we'll do is we'll do um excuse me, um, we'll do a couple of deep yogic breaths like we normally do and we'll use the alternate nostril breath as our actual, um, our little bit of meditation there so we'll, we'll get into a bit of a meditative state doing those breaths, okay. So with the deep yogic you, place, you can place one hand um, on your abdomen area and the other hand up on your, your chest area um, and then breathing in through your nose and imagine that you're expanding your tummy so filling your tummy up with air so breathing in fill up the tummy then the chest then the upper chest and then breathing out empty the tummy first then the chest and then the upper chest breathing in again fill up the tummy chest upper chest and then breathing out empty the tummy chest and upper chest the breathing in again fill up the tummy the chest upper chest pause and breathe out empty the tummy chest upper chest pause breathe in tummy chest upper chest pause and breathe out tummy chest upper chest okay and release that one so the alternate nostril breath just being a little bit careful if you do um, if you are prone to dizziness um, or low blood pressure you might want to just stick with your deep yogic breath there or go very slowly maybe um, and definitely don't close your eyes and and pull out if if it's becoming a little bit too much there for you those of you who are um, smokers or have breathing difficulties may find it tricky to keep keep up with um, the breathing as well so just do it your own pace you don't have to follow my my um, uh, instructions here exactly in the way of how long we hold things for so just getting yourself into position um, you're going to place your middle finger your right hand middle finger right between your eyebrows and your third eye your little finger up against your left nostril and your thumb up against your right nostril and your left hand is going to support you there just check that you can breathe independently out of both nostrils there and I'll just switch hands so I can do it with you. So we're going to do this as about a two and a half minute meditation um, just to finish off the class. Okay, so you can go into quite a meditative state with this one. Um, so you can close your eyes if you like or gaze very softly at the floor if you prefer. So just blocking off your left nostril. Again, you're going to breathe in um, through your nose and you're going to imagine you're filling up your tummy with air. So breathing in through your right nostril into your tummy. pause switch fingers and breathe out through your left nostril pause breathe in through the left pause switch fingers out through the right pause in through the right pause switch fingers out through the left pause 
pause in through the left. Pause, switch fingers out through the right. Pause, in through the right. Pause, switch fingers out through the left. Pause, in through the left. Pause, switch fingers out through the right. Pause, in through the right. Pause, switch fingers out through the left. Pause, in through the left. Pause, switch fingers out through the right. And then just releasing uh, your hands there. And uh, give yourself a little bit of a tap if you need to come back into um, the present moment. And we'll give you a bit of a shake. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it should make you feel a little bit more even, be able to use your creative mind and your, your um, intellectual mind at the same time, articulate things. Um, it also opens up, um, it releases anxiety, of course, and unsteadiness and anger. Um, it's excellent in preparation for meditation. So if you are someone who does meditate, this is an absolute optimum time for you to go off and do a little mini meditation. You can definitely go back to my previous um, uh, recordings and, and do the meditations. The last sort of 10 minutes of those, um, those recordings um, will generally have a meditation in them. Um, so I hope you have a really wonderful new moon in Taurus as we head into our Taurus sun. And, um, and you start to really come back and, and, and pause and you're able to, to press that pause button and, and stop whatever it was that you were doing before and give yourself permission to really let go and to really just be present and just sit out the back and listen to the, the birds and, and watch for the animals, even just watch the ants go about their business and, um, and just come back into your body this will be a massive stress relief for you. And, and, and have a little think, have a little contemplation about what is it, when you go back to norma normality, do you want to pick everything up that you had before or do you want to actually just sort of pull back a little bit? Do you want to spend a little bit more time just, just being in pause? Because um, it is so good for your health to, to be in that pause and to find that balance between the busy, busy and just the not moving at all and just the stillness. Uh, there's a place for both of them. So um, I hope you do find that centre. Please do um, send me messages either on YouTube, on Facebook, a personal message on Facebook, or even a text message or an email through my um, website if you prefer. Um, that's a, an automated email thing that you can send through, a message. Um, and, um, and please do share this with as many people as you, you can think of that you think. Text, text it out to um, copy it and text, share it out with... Um, all of your contacts if you want. Let them know that this is available and it's completely free while the virus is, um, while the pandemic is, is still in play. Um, so um, so they, can, they can ground themselves and centre themselves as well. So um, have, a, have a beautiful fortnight and I shall see you in a couple of weeks for our big full moon, um, which I believe will be in Scorpio because the opposite to Taurus is Scorpio. So I haven't checked that, but I'm pretty sure that's what it will be. Um, so until then, namaste. Bye-bye.